My name is Hillary Anderson. I coach at Shaker Heights High School and I've been coaching varsity for seven years. My name is Jennifer Clark. I am the Shaker Heights uh, High School coach, varsity coach, and I've been coaching about 12 to 15 years. Uh, we had an opportunity um, to come to the uh, level one, first level of um, USA field hockey um, in Dublin, Ohio. And uh, we took advantage of this opportunity um, to, in the hopes of learning more about field hockey and learning more about um, strategies um, and more about, uh, especially for us, was the goaltending. Mm -hmm. And so everything that I was hoping for, um, they delivered. Uh, a little bit about our coaching philosophy, and there is no right or wrong. It's about behaviors and how you practice and you train your mind to behave. Uh, so your body then react to it, and it's always about making the right decision. So when you decide what the big picture is, who did makes that decision? The athlete, the coaches, or together? You, it's it's a, it's an agreement. Okay. I think that's an important piece. I mean, I think that the athlete has to be part of that process when it's for them, or else the buy-in doesn't happen. So, I mean, I think that it takes more time to sit down with every single athlete and come up with this, but in some way, the athlete has to be part of that decision because they're ultimately the ones that are going to have to put in the work. The girls are right-handed dominant, so they tend to try to hit it with the right hand opposed to left. Correct. So, or, and then when they really want to hit it, they'll open, and it's like, duck. Okay, <laughs> so, no, no, you're fine. Leave your hands in there. So. The instructors, I mean, the wealth of knowledge that they have, and not even just the wealth of knowledge, but the fact that they lived it, played it, love it, and they're capable, capable of actually being able to um, explain to us at our level, even though they're such high level and have been high level players, was um, fantastic. And we were totally able to understand and now I feel I can implement it in our everyday um, field hockey season. It should be fun, it should have constant decision making, and this is even if it's a drill. Players need to dribble from one, from one island to the other. Remember to avoid the prison island. Where do you think the prison <laughs> island is? So uh, I did like this session when we implemented. And what I liked is we went out, we tried the drill, just kind of threw it out there. We tried the drill and then we came back, we discussed it, discussed what we needed to tweak, and then we went back out and had a purpose. And I really and I think once we had that purpose, it focused us and we knew what we needed to do. What was good about it? Like what if you were teaching this to younger kids, it was fun. I agree. Yeah. What else? Taking risks. Taking risks? Yeah. 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 Makes like, you think. It's not just like, go, go, go. Yeah, you have to like, tell what you're doing. How could we, if we were to make it harder, how, what are some things we could do to increase the difficulty? Like when you get knocked out, they, they would be a chaser too, instead of going to jail. Yeah. And you chase. could become a great yeah. more chaser. You have an island in the middle. Yeah. You might put them on a di like diamond shape, these are in square, so you can manipulate that kind of thing. Can you restrict them to, like, you can't go back to the same island yes. twice? Or yeah. 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 Could be a certain amount of people. Once you set out of your island, you've got to go. For our level, I really thought it was very helpful. And I also believe, um, as a coach, it doesn't matter what level you're in, you can always learn something from somebody, whether it's something, uh, just a minor, like today, when we were taught to actually have the girls on a push pass tap it. So that Kelly was able to tell us that when they're at a young age, that actual tapping allows them to actually deliver the ball strongly and um, on point, uh, more so than when you know, you're having them drag it and they don't have the strength. Um, to do it, so it allows these kids to be successful. Absolutely. I'm currently not a member, but having a connection, a personal connection to many of the USA field hockey in this room, it makes you want to become a member. So absolutely, and I will encourage our girls on our team and around us. And just all the overall material you guys were able to expose to us today, um, it's a no-brainer. Of course we're going to join USA field hockey. <laughs>